Hey everyone, welcome to the Monthly Review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is how tipping points will bring you closer to your language goals. If you've been learning a language for some time, you know that real progress takes time, that you won't see instant results in the next five minutes. And this can be discouraging for many learners. But don't worry, there are secret signs of success that you're on the right track and that you're going to make it. And they're called tipping points. You may not notice them immediately, but you'll always notice them in hindsight. So today you'll discover what tipping points are, how to know that you're on the right track with your language learning, how to reach tipping points, and much more. But first, if you're looking for new free language resources and downloads, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Buying Electronics Conversation Cheat Sheet. With this new cheat sheet, you'll learn how to talk about electronics and what phrases to use at the store. Download it for free right now. Second, our printable visual flashcards. Want to speak more of the language? You'll need to learn more words. And with our new printable visual flashcards, you'll know over 1,500 words. Just download and print them out. Third, 30 must-know legal vocabulary. Learn how to say court, law, illegal, and much more with this quick one-minute lesson. Fourth, how to talk about feeling excited. If you want to talk about your feelings, then this next lesson will teach you 13 words for excitement in just a few minutes. And fifth, must know Mother's Day vocabulary. Can you say Mother's Day in your target language? You'll be able to with this quick one minute vocabulary lesson. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. How tipping points will bring you closer to your language goals. Part one, why tipping points are crucial for confidence in language learning. So what's a tipping point? A tipping point is a point that you reach or a small victory, and it gives you confidence that you're going to make it. It's a sign that you're on the right track. Here's a non-language example. Imagine a gym on a Friday night and not at 5 p.m., I mean at 10 p.m. What does it look like to you? It probably looks empty to me, like a library on a Friday night. But if you've ever been to a gym on a Friday night, there's a very interesting group of people. The most fit people you'll ever see are there. Why is this a big deal? Well, of all the things you could be doing on a Friday night, if you naturally decide to work on your fitness or any goal that you have, then that's a good sign. So what about language learning? It works the same way with languages. If you find yourself learning and practicing a language on a Friday night instead of watching Netflix, if you're taking language lessons with our innovative language learning app instead of playing a game on your smartphone, if you're watching our video lessons instead of watching random YouTube videos, then you've reached a tipping point. These are all examples of tipping points. It's when you, your actions, and your free time shift away from usual routines like watching TV towards the goals you really want, like mastering a language. That's a tipping point, and it's crucial for your confidence and overall language learning. It's evidence that you're on the right track and you're going to make it. And you might wonder, how is it evidence if I don't see any progress just yet? It does take a bit of time to make progress with language, but the answer is simple. Language learning is a lot like anything else you do in life. It comes down to where you put in your time. It's like Malcolm Gladwell's 10,000 hour rule. You need time. Languages don't need 10,000 hours per se, but the principle is the same. If someone spends an hour every day on language and has done that for the past two years, that's a lot of time. So you can guarantee that this person is speaking the language with no problems, simply because of the time they put in. So what about you? How can you know if you're on the right track in reaching these tipping points? Let's get into the second part. Part two, how you can tell when you're reaching a tipping point. Picture it like this. You're learning a language in your free time. You have a small goal set. Now, within your daily routines, you start making certain choices. Between watching TV and mastering a language, you start putting more time into language. Exactly. Last week, you started with 10 minutes of learning and 50 minutes of TV. 
then it grows. You spend 20 minutes on language, 40 on TV, and then 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and soon it overtakes your typical routines. That's exactly how tipping points happen. So take a look at how much time you spend on a language and take a look at your recent choices of activities. If you're learning a language with your smartphone instead of playing a mobile game, if you're spending more time watching language videos instead of regular YouTube videos, and if you're learning on a Friday night as a personal choice, that's how you know you've reached a tipping point. Tipping points are something you won't notice immediately, but you will realize in hindsight. But the point is, when you find yourself choosing language over something else, that's a sign that you're going to make it. And if you want to actively reach these tipping points, then it's just a matter of putting in more time. Again, if you started with 10 minutes a day last week, bring yourself up to 11 or 12 minutes a day this week. Simply adjust your routine and add more time. For example, we often recommend you to set small, measurable goals with a deadline every month. So if you are, aim a little higher with your next goal. Add an extra few minutes to your routines. Now, back to you. Now that you learned about tipping points, do you think you've reached any? Leave us a comment. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about your first steps to learning a language, the Fundamentals Welcome Pack. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye.